Hello guys and welcome back to another Clash Royale video. Today we are opening up the magical chest and it's going to take a minute because it was really laggy when I did it. So first of all, this is our first magical chest and we got 307 gold, which is a lot. I, I hate it in slow motion. Um, in fact, I'm not doing this. Um, two skeletons, not good. Um, I got the tombstone, was really happy about that. It's in my new strategy. Minions, 14, that's really good. I use them. Archers, I use them now. And bomb tower. And mini pack of what is our epic? We got the goblin barrel. And I put this in my strategy. It's not needed, but it is wanted. So we are going to hop right into a battle. You need, like, as cards that some people don't have at, like, level 4. Um, I just turned level 4, by the way. Um, when I was opening the magical chest, I was level 3. But, um, what was I saying? Oh, um, the cards that people might not have are, like, the tombstone and the goblin barrel the tombstone is to stop princes um you can use a skeleton army you can use like a lot of things in this in uh in return for that but he threw on giant and this is like one of the most good strategies out there right now in my opinion um probably up to i don't even know but we are attacking this tower because all of the things are targeted on the giant, none of them on the goblins, which is like an instant kill. And he made the mistake of putting down a P.E.K.K.A. Mini P.E.K.K.A. and I have air troops, so that should be no problem to take it out. I think, yep, it got one hit, and it brought it down a little bit. But, um, I do not see any issues at the moment. We are gonna throw down barbarians, and we are just gonna rush the king, um... I think he throws down some stupid thing or something. Um, I think we twindle- oh yeah, he threw down archers. And my archers are just gonna snipe away the tower. And my next strategy- actually the goblin barrel has a lot to do with this strategy, but it can be countered. Um, I throw down the giant and the goblin barrel. Since this guy didn't use archers- archers- since this guy didn't use arrows, um, it, or a fireball on my goblin barrel, it was no problem. I threw down the goblin barrel. Um, he threw down his stuff he's trying to rush, which is a bad idea because everything was targeted by giant. And I gave him the thumbs up. 419 health left on his tower. It's a good game. Good luck. I don't know if he replied. Don't expect him to because some people down here are really poor sports. Others are like talkative people. It gets more mature the higher you get because it's like, oh yeah, yeah. <laughs> don't know what I'm saying. But we are playing this guy, um... Give, good luck, thumbs up, level 5, so am I going to win this, guys? Am I going to show you fail, or am I going to win this? I'm like, okay, should I throw Goblin Barrel? No. Um, we'll let our Elixir fill. And he made the mistake of placing that, so I throw down Tombstone, Minions, um, soon to be... Actually, no, I didn't even take out one of my archers, so he has a cannon. So throw down Goblin Barrel on the other side. Like, thank you. Um, at this point, ooh, something on the bottom there. Um, at this point, I was like, okay, um, I can tell this guy is kind of a noob, but he has high-level troops, so will that be the best? Experience or high-level troops, what will, what will do it? So, he threw down minions, so I threw down arrows, I'm trying to throw down arrows, and I forgot I had archers, so I just arrowed my own troops, and I give them an oops. There was on cannon behind his tower, I'm pretty sure, which is a bad idea. Or he throws it way in front, I forgot. But if you don't put it in the middle, you can attack either side. Yep, he put it where he needed it at the moment. He wasn't planning ahead. So I threw a goblin barrel. I don't know the range of a cannon, so I threw it in the back. And just let the goblin barrel attack. He throws down some troops like after they're done. An archer, yeah. It's like, okay, whatever. We'll just attack the left side, throw on giant behind, let my elixir build up. One minute, 30 seconds left. We are going to use all of what we can get to get one or two stars. He has, like, nothing on my tower. Once double elixir time comes, that should not change unless he has, like, an amazing rush. So he threw down Prince, so I threw down Tombstone. Oh, so, <coughs> so my Tombstone would spawn a skeleton before, but it didn't. So right now, I... I'm debating on what to do. I'm like, okay, we're just going to go for the left side. Um, we'll throw down anything we can to take out the left side goblin barrel as the archer dies, which means we should take it out, but do we? So, starting to attack, he throws down barbs, 27 health left. I'm like, okay, well, 
Level 2 barbs aren't that strong, so we're going to arrow it in the building. That takes about half the health off the barbarians. And right now, kind of a noob, he's pushing those barbarians. The prince. So now we're like, okay, whatever. We're just going to attack the right side. 30 seconds left. I'm getting a little nervous. I'm like, can I take a 2-star? Because I need it for my crown chest. My archer gets it down to 362, so I arrow in desperation. But arrows don't really do anything to cannons. It takes like maybe, what, 5-10 seconds off of its lifespan. So we have to throw barbs. Barbs split, but that's okay because they eventually take out most of the cannon and I'm like okay we got to get this done there's only a little health left is he gonna get my towers the question three two one no the mini P.E.K.K.A. is not in time so this is my strategy I'll go to it in a second but if you guys enjoyed the video hopefully you guys can drop a like let's aim for 13 likes if um if you guys think the strategy is good use it for yourself probably will change like all the other strategies so I'll try and keep giving low level strategies barbs archers giant arrows minions spear goblins Goblin Barrel and Tombstone. Alright, I'll see you guys in the next video. Um, peace out.